Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. Today, we've got another Airbnb video. I've already covered a few topics here that would help you more efficiently and more profitably run your Airbnb. From selecting the right condominium developer that will more likely allow you to run your place as an Airbnb, to other finer details such as how to manage guests, and what are the things that your Airbnb should have. Today we'll be revisiting this concern on selecting the right condo, but since we already know which condominium developers are more likely to allow you to Airbnb their buildings, what we're looking at today is the important issue on pricing. I know as a prospective Airbnb host, pricing is probably your main key concern. After all, this is the key factor that will really spell the difference between you being more profitable and getting a faster ROI on your investment. So in today's video, we're tackling this big concern. How do you select the right condominium property that will give you the higher per night rate on Airbnb? You might have already come across the dynamic pricing feature that Airbnb has on its platform. What's important for you to know is how Airbnb actually gets to this pricing recommendation and how you can select a property that will be more likely on the higher end of the Airbnb pricing. I'm not claiming to know this perfectly, but from my years of experience and managing Airbnb properties on different locations, I sort of already know the different factors that Airbnb takes into consideration. So yes, just like in retail and real estate as a whole, it's all about location, location, location. Location is the number one variable that Airbnb factors in when it comes to dynamically pricing your place. Of course, location is a game of supply and demand, just like everything else in the market. But what I'll be sharing are taking into consideration what are the factors under location that will again improve your profitability as an Airbnb. So the number one thing that you might want to look at about the location of the Airbnb or condo that you're looking at is its proximity to offices or perhaps the central business district. My experience in running Airbnbs in BGC and Makati would be that this is a demographic that I really want to tap. They are the ones most likely to come back to your place. Most of the time, they are not as fussy as vacation or staycation travelers. They are booking your place because they need to go to the office. Perhaps they are based out of town. And even now, even with all this work from home, people are being asked to come back to the office. So targeting office goers would be one of the factors that I really keep in mind because we're actually looking for Airbnb bookers who will most likely come back to use it regularly perhaps a few times in a year or perhaps even a few times in a month. So let's move on to the second factor. The second factor about location that you might want to look at is somewhat related to offices. If the building or property is near a convention center, an arena, or some place of congregation, this is another factor for you to consider in purchasing that property. There are business conferences, there are large-scale meetings, and even somewhat related to this would be concerts being held in these halls. So another factor when you are looking to purchase a condo would be its proximity again to these areas where the event will be held. So an example may be SMX and Pasay, there's also SMX here in BGC, there's the Samsung Hall. Perhaps if you find something that's near the Philippine Arena in the future. I don't know if there are many buildings there right now, but perhaps that's something you can also look at. So let's move on to number three. Another thing that of course you can look at would be the building's proximity to leisure activities. I mentioned earlier that I prefer office travelers versus those doing a vacation or a staycation. But anyway, if there are many malls or if there's a large point of interest, um, here in Taguig, there is also the Venice Mall, which I get a lot of inquiries about. So that's another thing that you want to look at. Here in BGC, there's Uptown, High Street, and the many Ayala malls that are along High Street. There's SM Aura and the newly opened um, Japanese mall. I forget the name right now. If your place is going to be having a lot of these attractions, perhaps restaurants or big stores, then that's another factor that you might want to consider when you're looking to purchase a property for Airbnb. And lastly, another factor that you can look at would be the community itself. So in this case, CBDs or these new developments tend to really attract more people because they have nicely designed streets, it's safe, it's clean, versus other condominium properties that maybe are one-offs in a larger 
maybe older section of town. These new up-and-coming mixed-use development properties from many developers actually become a point of attraction also for people. So other than just the attraction of perhaps one mall um, and another concert hall or offices, what you might want to look at when purchasing a property would be the appeal of the community as a whole. That actually might be your biggest factor on how Airbnb will price your place. So those are the key factors about location that you might want to heavily consider. And on this latter part of the video, what I'll cover are actually factors that you might think are important but are actually not as important based on my experience. Some of these factors may be important to you when you're purchasing a place because you want to live in it. But when purchasing a property for the purpose of Airbnb, these factors I see are a little less important, especially in the context of the Philippines. So the first of these would be the proximity of your building of your property to public transportation. I know that might sound trivial, but for a place like the Philippines where, let's admit it, the public transportation just doesn't really have a good spread and doesn't have a good infrastructure when purchasing a property for Airbnb, at least here in the Philippines, proximity and access to public transportation is actually less of a factor. You might be scratching your head about this. I know when I book places abroad, proximity to public transportation is actually the number one thing that I look at. But again, since the Philippines doesn't have a good public transportation system, it really becomes a non-factor. And you might be asking, don't the office workers actually want to have access to public transportation? Well, yes. But these office workers are actually booking your place because they want to be able to walk to their offices or their conferences. They're not booking your place so they are at least another ride or two away from where they need to be. Again, the challenges of our local public transportation system has made this less of a factor. So when you're looking to purchase a property for Airbnb, access to public transportation, even though it may be important, really becomes less of a factor. And look for a condominium, a property, where your office Airbnb bookers can actually just walk to work. They're not gonna book your place just for the purpose of taking another grab to where they need to be. So a second variable that is also not much of a big factor. Again, this might sound a little trivial, but in terms of location, the amenities of a building, whether it has a gym or a pool, also is less of a factor. Sure, there are those people who will book your place specifically because they want to swim, but from my experience, a lot of these guests don't actually look at the building amenities as their number one trait. Sure, it becomes a factor, but what I'm saying here is for the general public. When they are looking at location, they are really looking for the places that they can go nearby, that they can explore in the city, or wherever destination that your property is located. Yes, they may want to swim. Yes, they may want to use a gym. But the proximity of the property to the other places that they can go to will be more important than what the building has to offer. So if the building doesn't have a great pool, it doesn't have a great gym, it doesn't have to be a deal breaker for you not to purchase that place because again, these variables are just bonus factors. There are actually many other factors that would affect your pricing eventually. Of course, there's your cleanliness, there are your reviews, there are the key features that you have to make available at your place. But my point here is before you even get reviews, before you start beautifying your place, the number one thing that you have to look at is location, location, location. And I hope with this video, you have a better understanding what location entails. It's not simply about the property being near this attraction or another, but if you can have all these factors work together, then that ultimately will be what helps you price your Airbnb higher. I guess the next question is, should you buy a property simply for the purpose of getting your returns via Airbnb? I think that topic merits its own video. So for now, I hope you found this helpful. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy Airbnb.